Overwatch League Season 2 has just begun, and surprise, surprise, GOATS is still king. Today, let's talk about the 5 reasons GOATS might be a bigger problem for Overwatch League than you might think. My name is Nate, and welcome to Blizzard Guide. Now, I just want you guys to keep in mind before I start this video, I'm not making this video because I hate the Overwatch League or because I hate Blizzard or anything like that. It's actually quite the opposite. I'm putting this out there because I'm realizing more and more the impact that GOATS is really having on the Overwatch League and the reason that we watch OWL. I'm going to try and be as neutral as possible, but I am still a person, so I may not be perfect. I, I just want to start a discussion about GOATS Watch League, and, and that was a joke. But either way, let's get into this video. At number 5, GOATS is just difficult to watch. Just watching teamfights ends up being teams grouping up, team pushes in, one team dies, and then that's it, and then, you know, you rinse and repeat. I, I guess that just means that it's easier to watch, but for people that are new, it really makes the game unfun to spectate since each fight devolves into just a flash of colors. Even as a player that is GM, I have trouble watching some of the fights if I'm not just glued to the screen, which isn't ideal for an esport that is trying to go mainstream. I personally believe, and I have talked to others and have confirmed, that Dive was just easier to digest and to watch as a new player. The concept is simple, and you also got the cool plays with Tracer zipping around and fragging and Genji's popping a blade and, you know, getting team wipes. I'm not suggesting that Blizzard revert to Dive, but I'm merely showing you Dive as a point of reference to what we used to see. And also add on to the fact that not a single player's POV is really usable in GOATS from a spectating point of view, the Overwatch League viewing experience felt more like a MOBA more often than not, which for a game that markets itself as a team-based first-person shooter, isn't exactly the best idea. But moving on at number 4, GOATS just really leaves a lot to be wanted for the League. At its core, Overwatch League isn't only about showing viewers Overwatch as a game, it's about the entertainment. Overwatch League is, after all, an entertainment product, and in order to stay profitable, you need people buying merch, people buying seats, and most importantly, people watching. If Blizzard doesn't keep the game fresh to watch and fresh to play, you lose a lot of viewers that funnel into the entertainment product that is the Overwatch League, which causes a heavy decline in both the League and the game, since you have less players playing the game and then you can't really grow your viewers since you have less players playing and only keep those that either play and watch or those that don't play but still watch, but never those people that play but don't watch. This is what happened with the StarCraft 2 scene, at least in the West. Most players didn't play StarCraft 2 and they only wanted to watch pros duel in StarCraft 2, which is why the StarCraft 2 scene isn't a big thing here in the West and isn't really growing. If Blizzard continues to allow metas where tanks and supports reign supreme, you're not going to have an entire section of heroes, which makes up over 50% of the roster and represents an entire different set of skills, which in turn doesn't incentivize players to continue playing DPS when the ladder and the league requires that you drop that role and play an entirely different role with different skills, which hurts the Overwatch League, hurts Overwatch, and hurts the player base. So at number 3, kind of building off that last point, these teams in the Overwatch League are worth millions and millions of dollars, and yet you have players that are signed as DPS who don't play any DPS in the League. Players with impressive levels of mastery on their mechanical skill as well as their game knowledge flexing to heroes that just aren't focused on their mechanics as much as they are on their ability management and game sense. Now I'm definitely being biased in this part, so fair warning, but I definitely don't think that good ability management is fun to watch, nor does it really display the level of skill involved in the league. I'm not saying that it isn't skilled, but I'm saying that it just doesn't appear as skilled. I guess I'm just being super repetitive, but really, you have to just have a watchable and enjoyable game to have a successful league. That, in my opinion, should be led by the gameplay, but it's not in this case. I believe that it's being led by the production quality and the storylines at the moment. You can engineer production quality, but you can't always engineer storylines, and you can't always rely on those either, since those have higher levels of investment to get involved to if you're a viewer. So at number 2, this is a bigger problem on a larger level. In the beginning of Season 1, you had the Mercy meta, and that meta was arguably not that fun to play, but at least it was very enjoyable to watch. You definitely had a good setup for those memorable clips that really brought Pine into the main Overwatch fanbase, for example, you got good storylines and you also got exciting gameplay. With GOATS, you can't really have that, and more specifically with GOATS and other tank and support heavy comps where the carries lie in the support or tank play, you can't really have those clips and that memorability you can with other metas. I'd argue that if Blizzard balanced the game towards skill and more towards the pro scene, you'd end up with a much better viewer experience for the Overwatch League. That's what I loved about watching CSGO, and even though that I don't play any CSGO at all, or at least very little, I could quickly and easily recognize the skill behind the gameplay. With the current GOATS Watch League, not so much. 
<clears throat> and again, that's only a joke. I'm putting in it there so you know the video is entertaining. It's it's just a joke. Please don't please don't get mad. But finally, last but not least, and at number one, freshness. Goats just doesn't feel fresh. Ranked players have been playing goats for a very long time, to the point where I and many other players are taking large breaks, or in some other cases, altogether quitting. I'm not quitting, but I am taking a very short break from Overwatch competitive. I still play FFA though. We're not asking for balances that change the meta each and every day, but what we're saying rather is that we're asking for changes that allow players to play different comps on different maps, not where some variation of triple support or goats gets played every single match. Now, I'm not a game designer, so I can't offer suggestions, but some of the community suggestions have been a ban or protect system, force 2 to 2 map rotations, and many other ideas. Now, I can't get into how each and every one of those would force diversity, but in the end, there's a lot of things and initiatives that Blizzard should be taking to reduce the repetitiveness of Overwatch gameplay, not only to improve the game as a whole, but the Overwatch League, which is definitely a very profitable area for Overwatch as a franchise. If Overwatch League continues this trend of ultra-dominant team comps throughout stages, it'll definitely affect the performance of the league continuing on into season two and season three and further on after that. But anyway, that's been today's video. Now, I'm not the best at this style of video, so if I said anything wrong or you disagree, please drop a comment down below, but don't be quick to flame. I just try and understand where I'm coming from and I'll definitely try and understand where you're coming from. I'm not an expert at this by any means, but this is something that I just felt when I was watching the opening day and I really wanted to make a video about it because I just didn't really enjoy the opening day as much as I did with the first season. So maybe that's just me, but that's kind of the experience that I've seen other people having too. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, and if you guys want to see more Overwatch related videos from tips and tricks to Twitch highlight videos, get subscribed so that you never miss an upload. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Discord to join the Blizzard Guides community. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a nice day. My name is Nate, and this was Blizzard Guides.